Hey, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and you are watching Get Biz Legal in just five minutes a day. So today's tip that you can do in five minutes or less is about avoiding copyright infringement problems if someone sends you a cease and desist email or letter accusing you of copyright infringement over some photo or video or audio that you use that really was just stock stuff, stock photo, stock footage, stock audio that you purchased. When you download that stock, keep an original copy of exactly what you downloaded in a file on your Dropbox and whatever cloud storage system that you use. So that way you can show the original file as opposed to all the edited file that you actually used in your project. Also, keep a copy of the receipt, either the receipt from the purchase of that specific file or the receipt that the system gives you for downloading something according to your, your subscription with them. If you get accused of infringement, you want to be able to show the original file and proof of who you downloaded it from and when and where it was downloaded to show that you actually had a license for it. Also, in a perfect world, you'd also have a copy of the license uh, as of the day where you downloaded it, which probably is the terms and conditions of the website you used, but I know that you might not actually ever do that. So <laughs> you at least to get the receipt and the original file, that will be a great start. Again, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you would like any other legal tips for small business owners and entrepreneurs, you can go to elizabethpw.com. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.